your skin's amazing. This is literally, I feel the best skin in the game. Alright, so do you care to explain your build? Alright, first I just got an energy battery, basically, because I just want to... It just makes sense to have an energy battery with Celeste so that I can use her abilities pretty quickly. If I was doing lane, I usually either get boots or I get um, a book of eulogies. Okay. Now yeah, you came up with this build all on your own? Um, yeah, I mean, I tried looking at other builds online, and I like to play Realm. I think this it was based off originally a jungle build, but um, I modified it to what I want, because I, I don't really play jungle Celeste. I like to play Realm heroes, so... Yeah, well, I've seen myself that it works very well, so I have high hopes for this game that you'll win. See, you guys have already taken out two enemy heroes. And there's I'm the triple. Let, I'm trying to let him get the kills for the extra gold. Yeah, that's always good to do with a Roma. Yeah, get out of there. Oh, shoot. Yeah. He got too far away. Now, I could tell you where all the enemy players are, but I'm not going to. Just for... No, don't. For respect like, reasons. It's, like, not fair, you know? Just for respect reasons. For the I'm probably going to hang out, out more on lane, though, for them. Okay. I think Ringo would probably, let's see, I've never played with a Ringo and a Rum Celeste, so let's see how that's going. Okay. No soon with Ringo's build, he's got a Weapon Blade, Swift Shooter, and a, like a, the Tier 2 battery. Yeah, I think um, he's going to be doing a hybrid. You know, you might get two builds that are really good out of this. I don't know, I'm not a Ringo player. Yeah, I'm trying I mean, to get him to come over here, but... Alright. It he makes sense for it. Ringo to build the energy battery because he constantly uses his B, and that runs out so quickly when you're playing Ringo. Yeah, just from playing Ringo in the past. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with Ringo, but he seems to be doing good with... Me, our, our talk is jungle invading down there, so. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that you haven't played much Ringo, seeing as though he's one of the starting heroes. So well, I've done good as game. a Ringo. Um, with this build, the first item that you want to get, though, like, uh, tier 3, is probably, oh, shoot, go away. Nice done. Um, I would probably have to say your first item you'd want to get is a Fountain of Renewal. That's what I usually get. And you want to keep, I usually keep my weapon items as long as I can. Because they're always good to just have that extra boost for clearing minions or... I've never really kept them to the end of the game, so... But yeah, again, from seeing your build, it definitely works. I've also done this with, um, uh, basically what the build's going to be is a Fountain, uh, Hellsian Chargers, Storm Crown, um, then I usually either get a Frostburn or a Crucible, and then either Shield or, uh, Armor. I'm not saying your team is up by 800 gold. So you guys are definitely out far now. Oh, sorry, my internet was bad for just a few seconds there. Alright. You heard what I said, right? Uh, no, I didn't. You guys are winning in gold. 10k now.
Or, sorry, uh, 1,000. We're also winning in kills. Our attack is pretty good. Yeah, you're four kills ahead. Usually, as uh, Celeste, I don't farm very long in the jungle, because um, I try and keep her more helping out at lane. As supports should, in some cases. Well, the thing is, is that they're usually people are rather confused by support Celeste, and they, they think that they're going lane to just double lane, so... Yeah, so then they have a heavier impact on the lane, and push harder. I think I'm doing, like, decent for having bad internet. Yeah, you do, you, I mean, you're doing pretty good. You have two assists. You know, as a roamer, you want to try and have lots of assists. Yeah, I'm trying to have the other people get the kills. At least for the beginning, because Taka can definitely use that extra gold. Yeah, and experience. Because he doesn't have me to help him in the jungle. Right. See, Taka's not very useful to level 6. I think it's the level 9 when he can max out his A, which has no energy cost at that point. I'm just sitting here watching them approach you from the bushes, and I just think it's like, huh, just kind of humorous. Yeah, these guys are playing, like, super teeny against me. Mm -hmm. Well done. They're bring good. Uh, our talk is doing really good. You're definitely doing good. very well with um, throwing your heliogenesis in the bushes to try and get vision. Well, yeah, that's that's another thing that I originally thought that she might be a really great roamer is because she can... She's really good with vision. Uh, so you never need to buy flares. Yeah. In a similar style to uh, Lyra. Yeah, that's why I, we're, um, in your later video when we have that Lyra-Celeste combo and trying the two different combos against each other. Yeah, the two heroes are very similar. Just they, trying to help this guy out. They both have um, very nice ability sets. Well, I honestly, I love mages so much. Artaka's really good at picking off, um, like, the stragglers from their group. Um, but honestly, I love mages, so Lyra is an obvious choice for me as a, uh, a favorite. Yeah, he's going 8-1-0. Uh, 57 minion kills. Uh, he currently has 1,500 gold. Yeah, I got that extra um, building for the Crucible right away just because um, I wasn't exactly sh sure about Jewel with her. Jewel makes me kind of nervous with her Crucible. I think it could be a big effect for the team with how she's jumping out at that. I'm um, so. Yeah, that's, that's definitely good for adapting and thinking ahead. Something you want to see in every Roma and VG player in general. Normally, I wouldn't be one to um, do the Crucible first. That's one of my last items that I get. Well, not last, but like mid-game. Yeah, because their jewel is going CP. What are your thoughts on CP jewel? I don't like it. I, I just, I don't see a point for that. Care to explain why? I couldn't save him. Um... I just, I don't really see a point in having that. I'm going to definitely have to build that Crucible right away. I might even before I build. Yeah, um, because that Ringo's uh, Hellbrew definitely sucks. It'd also be good to fight off Catherine's uh, stun. Yeah, and Jewel, yeah. as we said before. Yeah, Crucible will definitely be good I against that entire team. I want him to die, though. I'm trying to get the target to... 
the tur- to target me is what I'm trying to say. Okay. But the nice thing about having that extra book of eulogies is I can use it to basically heal myself up by attacking these uh, minions over here. So it appears that the enemy Catherine, it appears she's building a breaking point. Thoughts on building that this early? On who? Uh, the enemy Catherine. Uh, I have absolutely no idea why she's doing that. Because she has tier 2 boots, uh, heavy steel, um, dragon heart, blazing salvo, and like, uh, life found or whatever it's called. I feel bad I really can't protect these guys, but I kind of deserted farming too quickly. I'm, I was trying to push too much. I think I'm going to have to. Um, I'm probably going to get the Crucible first. I usually get a Fountain first, but I think that because of how many times poor Ringo's died over here. Usually people have a tendency in games to ignore me as a Celeste player, which is very annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, they really under- they- they really have a tendency to underestimate. Me. I'm trying so hard not to like steal his minion. Right. Yeah, people right. underestimate uh, Rome's Celeste because it's not common. You never see it. And then you pull out and they don't know what to do. They don't know how to adapt to something like that. Something we've never seen. Now, um... Now, I you used to build two uh, clockworks, correct? Um, no, I would only build one clockwork. Okay. I, um, but I found that that can be eliminated by doing a Storm Crown and a, um, Halcyon Chargers. Okay, so you've definitely changed up the build since they added new items. Yeah. You guys remember the build you were talking about before consisted of two clockworks? We were talking about earlier? It was... Oh, yeah. The jungle uh, build, it did. Um, right, it was but, uh, boots, two crucibles, a fountain, and two clockworks. I definitely think that speed is an important factor in Celeste. A lot of people that I know that play Celeste have a tendency to overlook the importance of speed. I don't know why he wants us to attack this, but okay. Yeah. I think they want me to be higher, but I, I don't really care about that right now. You guys are up by about 4,000 gold. So you guys have the kill and gold advantage. And turrets as well. You haven't lost a single one, you've pushed down two of them. Yeah, um, with Celeste, you can either... I'm trying to push really hard right now against these guys, because I can. And they're playing so... They're, they're playing really weirdly. Talk coming in for the kill. Great job. See, if, some, if I were somebody who hadn't seen this before, I'd be looking at your, um, your KD and thinking it's very surprising you only have one death. Like, you're staying alive. You're getting those assists. Well, no, I, I actually just, I made Celeste so much sturdier, and once I, um, the item that I will, will build for myself is probably an Eve. That's just a really good item for a Celeste. Mm -hmm. Oh, too late with that. My bad. It's okay, I have that fountain to save him. Um. And your, uh, your stars are definitely good for crowd control. Yeah. You took, uh, basically, what I like about this is that I took this hero that a, a lot of people I know uh, have difficulty with because she's not, like, super sturdy of a hero. But I made her a lot sturdier now, especially with having this Crucible and the Fountain. She's really strong. Um, yeah, she can definitely take a couple hits. Because I remember earlier, yeah. you took three turret shots like nothing. And then I'm going to get a 
Storm Crown. And then after that, I'm probably going to get an Eve, and I can either get a Crucible, um, Armor, or Frostburn. Is what I usually get, or Shatter Glass. The last couple items are usually pretty easily reversible with that. Mm -hmm. Now, how early do you think we're going to buy an Infusion? I'm assuming Crystal. Yeah, um, well, it honestly depends on what you're doing. Like, I've bought Infusions, like, right with the Kraken over here. Alright, nice job. Yeah, you guys are about uh, 5k. And you just gotta take out this jewel to get the Kraken. Oh, Alright, you got that. All enemy players are dead. Good job. She definitely proves uh, useful in a team fight situation. Yeah. Um, I'm having difficulty right now with my internet issues trying to figure out when to prop really, um, properly attack and use my... Mm -hmm. I don't really have too much... I mean, Celeste is powerful, but I don't think I can solo the Kraken just yet. No, but she, she definitely took a few hits. Yes. I lasted longer than a normal Celeste, though. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Did the Kraken just miss that taco? I'm gonna have to watch that afterwards. Uh, nice job with the Kraken. I think he missed a taco shot. Like, he went to attack him, the taco avoided it. Yeah. And then the first thing I'm probably going to sell from here, now I'm gonna get my Eve of Harvest. I'm gonna sell the weapon items and work on getting an Eve because. Oh, shoot. I feel like every time I'm shopping, somebody dies. That's how it always feels. Yeah, but it appears that I didn't even touch your turret. You're doing a good job defending. Oh, I can't even see what's going on. I think I'm doing good for not being able to see it. anything. I'm gonna fight these minions over here, because nobody's up here. Yeah, it assists. You're doing very well. This does appear to be a very viable build. It's a shame that you don't see it more often. I think it'd be fun to see uh, lots of different types of builds in the fold, you know? Tried to help him over there. You can also swap out your chargers just and just get, um, if you want more treads. I like Halcyon chargers personally. They're more, they're more my style of doing things. Yeah, because you get the uh, extra battery, uh, a, bun a bunch of recharge and stuff, and you get a 30 second sprint instead of two. And they're just faster than the war treads. But I've actually played a Rome Celeste in games where I'm getting like seven kills. I think the highest I've gotten at, with this build was like it was a it was a thirty minute match, but it was like mm, I would say twelve kills. Twelve yeah, kills. And that, that was the most on my team. I was trying so hard not to get the kills, but Yeah, hearing that sometimes hearing that's not that surprising, you know. Mention how Celeste and Lyra are very similar, and Lyra can easily get kills as a roamer. I like that with her, she's also kind of a ranged roamer as well. Like, before Lyra, I don't believe we had one. Did we have any ranged We roamers? had a Daggio. We had a Daggio. Um, Lance was like a ranged melee. Yeah, but I mean, like somebody that's like truly ranged. I, I mean, you could say Adagio, but I, I don't, I don't, I've never, I don't play Rome, Rome Adagio. I'll be completely honest. He's a, he's a very adaptable character. He can go Rome, uh, weapon, crystal, lane, jungle. 
Really, any anything you need, he can do. And with this, I recommend upgrading your last ability. You can also really easily... Um, Um, you can also choose to upgrade your first or your last, depending on what you think. Like, sometimes I, my team really needs more stun than... Well, it looks as though you guys got the crystal. <laughs> Congratulations. Yep. That was a really good game. Yeah, all I, all I had left to build was the Eve, and then I was, um, I got the Crucible... And then, um, probably I would have built a Frostburn after that. Okay. Yeah, it, thank you for uh, sharing this build. Uh, I hope to see more of this on the fold, and thank you. Thank you.